All right, so I'm doing a game review, uh, Silver 5 for Dreamland. EU West. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it like short to the point. Most of my coaching sessions have been going on to like, like an hour, an hour and a half most of the time. So um, I know a lot of people want VOD reviews done, so we'll try and make it quite quick. I'll try and do my best to do quick summaries. Right, you guys can see stuff, right? Um, do do do. Okay. So ignite, electrocute, pike, Kaiser bot lane versus Jinx and Leona. Leona has good engage potential, so if she like jumps in here at any point, like the pike isn't particularly strong against CC. So this could be a tricky game, especially if you get CC'd up and then Jinx Trap, ideally, like, they, you need to be, be playing pretty carefully. You've got, like, two options here. Only go in with your jungler, or if Leona engages, ideally on the Kaiser, then you need to counter it by going straight onto the Jinx. Um, and, and do it like that. How'd you get, uh, coaching? Um, just... We're going through, like, people, so... Wine at me enough another. <laughs> Seems to be the theme. I've been trying to prioritize subs as well. All right. So yeah, that's the only two times you can really go in. Who's your mid laner? Vega against Talon. So a good cage should be pretty easy. Although Vega's gonna have to play a little bit safe. Um... Yeah, you went uh, Relic Shield. Against this kind of game as well, where if you go in the last tip for a CS, Leona would just go onto you. Just get coin. Honestly, just get coin. Are you doing VOD reviews now? Yeah. Get coin every game now. Good. Hey, Spin, how you doing, man? Okay, so b b before this has happened, there's been minimal scouting being done. I would have liked to see like the first thing is just like run into this bush, um, and then maybe like um, have nothing leveled up, and then if you if they start coming here, then you take your E and just dash out kind of thing. That'd be nice for you to scout this brush maybe. But whatever. Hmm. Right, and now you've, you usually at this point you're gonna see like bot lane coming in. Like if you see this. Enemy Jinx here. At least you know that two things. Your try is free. There's no one camping in this try brush. And then... Um, but you need to get back into lane quickly so you guys don't lose XP. So, start coming off this. Okay, this was pretty quick. Good pull. Well, the Shavana took a hell of a lot of damage from that. Looks like she wasn't kiting it properly. Basically, you're just going to be playing counter engage. It's not a lot you can do with Pike early levels, just letting them push into you. What did Kaiser go? Kaiser went Doran's Blade here. You, you want to play Disengage, but you don't want to play so far back that your AD feels like it's 2v1. You want to be like a little bit further up. Um, also, at this point, you should be spamping your AD back because they're going to hit level 2. Very soon. Well, they are about to hit level two. They should, this minion dying here will cause them to get level two. So yeah, you need to be like spam paying your AD to go back as well because of this Leon is going to come in. Come in. She's going to go straight onto the Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. Here it's, it's going to happen. No, oh, okay. You guys go back just in time. Yeah, here. Yeah. Right, hook in on this how. This is the best thing you can do right now. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, let me watch what you were doing there. Let me slow this down right down. I would have definitely have done what you would have done. Just a hook to under tower there. You also, like, bear in mind here, you're going to hit level 2 very, very soon as soon as that minion dies as well. Ideally, your Kaiser heals straight away here. Did you cancel an auto attack there? You cancelled another auto attack there? You actually didn't get your electrocute off at all there? 
you, you you need to make sure you get electrocute off there because she should have taken more damage there, like auto attack plus electrocute damage there. You cancel two auto attacks there. I want to watch that again. <laughs> so hey, Emma, uh, good hook. I that's one hit. You just need to do one more auto hit here for electrocute. Yeah, don't be too scared. Also, you're full HP as well. And also, as Pike, you're going to regen as soon as you get out of line of sight as well, so it's not going to be that bad. So yeah, a little bit more damage there on the Leona, ideally. Let me just see what the minion situation was there as well. Because usually all these things go in your head, like as they're happening. At least through mine, anyway. So that melee minion's about to go down. How far is that minion? Melee minion? The melee minion's about to die now. I'll be hitting that melee minion there now to speed it up a bit. And the level 2... Engage, you wouldn't have been able to do it either. But it's just something to bear in mind when you're about to hit that level. Good W there from Kaiser. Honestly, if I were you, I'd try and like threat the, the Leona under tower again, like you just already did you already had done. You're not necessarily gonna want to hook the Jinx in because the Jinx would definitely kill the Kaiser if you hook her in. Whereas the Leona will have the E under tower and then she would die for it. There's not much you can do here. The Kaiser's is actually going back. So the best thing you can do is just try and stall out this wave, which you can't really do anyway. So you're just gonna have to try and CS. Try and stop recalls if possible. Um, if, uh, if you were this enemy team in this situation, you would ideally have a ward in this tri brush and you'd be harassing this tower quite a lot. You shouldn't be really that scared of a pike at that low level. Like pike plus jungler. Plus you're all of your own summoners up. Then you should win that. They should be harassing you under this tower to be honest. Really weirdly in a player. Try and move up a bit as well. Um, what you want to try and do. The best in this scenario the best you can do is try and get the minion line to tank like here so that their caster minions aren't quite hitting this tower so you need to be trying to do your best and trying to like stand around here to try and stop the minions from getting into the tower if leona does go into you uh you've got shyvana nearby here as well okay she's no hp so she won't be able to do anything but you could still like do e dash away and be safe because once again you're pike so you can regen some of that champion damage anyway perfectly fine so your main objective is, if in this sort of situation where they're pushing so far deep, you, you want to try and keep them here. Um, so that your Kaiser can last hit better under tower. And so that they have to always risk going forward here. I mean, you've got flash up and you've got dash and you've got like your stealth movement speed as well. Like being here isn't too dangerous, Dreamland. Even if the jungler comes through, like comes through there, you would have plenty of notice. Like just dash away back to tower. It's not that risky. Just bear in mind, okay, your Kaiser's got no heal, but she still has flash. She's obviously still vulnerable to the Leona engage. Uh, your Kaiser wasn't able to buy an item at all when going back to base, so that's pretty bad. She's also like majorly like she's gonna fall behind in love XP. The enemy bot's gonna hit level four. You want to be like the aggressor here. You've got level advantage here. And no one's actually technically gone back to buy and lane yet. You're the strongest person in this lane right now, level-wise. You want to be like... You know... if it, You just want to be in their face a bit. It's better if Leona does engage onto you. And if you're quick to E away, then you should be fine. That way uh, Kaiser can just worry about farming. Nice try for Q harassment. That's fine doing that. Alright, now because there's such a minion differential, I would be like trying to be a little bit more aggressive here. If they do go in, then they've got to tank all of these minions. Right, now here's a weird situation. You're, you're doing like the opposite of what they would... Basically, you um, ideally have this brush warded and you need to make sure this minion wave crashes to this tower as best as possible. So you ideally want to clear this wave out as quickly as possible, otherwise you're going to be stuck in a situation here on this minion line. This is not a good position to be in. 
in case the jungler comes down. Now you know, obviously, the jungler's top side because he's getting killed up there. But uh, you got minion advantage here. You don't really want to stun the Iridia. I want to watch that again. I can understand why you might think that would be a good idea there. Um, this is another thing. It's like you need to be like closer to your AD carry. That seems to be a common theme of supports in the low ELOs. The gap between the AD and support is usually too big. Obviously, don't stand on top, but like close in the gap, especially like the distance between you and like the Jinx, for example, is mega huge. And the distance between you and the AD keep carry. Whereas, like, if you had the same distance between you and the Kaiser, but you were if you were standing here near this wall. At least you'd be able to engage into this Jinx, if that makes sense. So, if you were going to keep this distance, I would stand here. Because you want to be, make sure, like, if Leona does go in, you want to be ready to engage into the Jinx, right? You're playing way too far back. Especially after knowing, like, Zin's here. And you can see, like, you know, Tan's busy here. So you've got no one coming down anyway. Like, the only option you have here is to go onto Jinx. Kaiser's probably gonna die here. Okay. That was an okay play in the end. What is. If you had used. I think you used Electrocute and Leona there as well. Let's just imagine if you got the, the E on the Jinx there as well. That would have been a lot of. Um, that could have been a kill actually on the. Uh, on the Jinx. You could still play aggressive here if you wanted to. I would W here, try and hug this brush. Or even just go straight for it and just go straight onto the Jinx here. As soon as she makes one misstep. That kind of thing. Minion waves right now is probably a little bit too big. Maybe when it gets thinned out a bit by Kaiser Q. Use your relic shield here, like on the min minion and then the cannon. Yeah. I'd be hitting this melee minion to try and push the lane back in pretty quickly. Don't forget, you're, you, you're really healthy HP wise. The Jinx isn't. So, like, she has to be worried about you. You being far back means that she has no threat. Because the only thing strongest to her right now is the Kaiser. And she's on half HP. And she can easily Q harass the Kaiser. This is better positioning, like you closer and up front. This is better. This is what I want to see more. This is much better positioning. Don't go too far back though. Come in. Yeah. This is better positioning. Still a bit too far back though. Still too far back. Just bear in mind, as soon as they hit level 6, they're going to go all in on your Kaiser. Leon ulti plus uh, Jinx ulti will be a hell of a lot of damage. With all this stuff going on in the river as well, like seeing the Zin here and stuff, you've got your Vega here. Just keep an eye on the situation because you're going to have to run to mid. Oh, it looks like you're already on that already. Don't go in though. Don't commit if Shivana isn't. Good. But you got to remember, Dreamland, if Leona goes and use it, actually, not too bad if you can E away quickly. you got to be quick, though. And sometimes you can, like, if you're standing, like, here, for example, and if Leona does go on you, don't forget she'll follow you. So if you dash all the way back to tower straight away, she'll actually be under tower and stunned. So you got to remember that as well. Also, another thing right now, you don't want the enemy bot lane to recall. You've got the CS differential here, so you got to make sure they don't recall as well. As soon as you don't see them for a bit, yeah, like that. But I would have probably face checked the tower about the HP that uh, face checked the bush, and I would have checked this one as well. Right now, now you th if you think they've recalled, you want to push in the lane as quickly as possible because now you both need to buy quickly. You're going to need to push in the next wave as well. Yeah, Kaiser needs to push in this next wave. Because this wave isn't going to go to the tower properly. You just need to E straight through this minion line and Q it. 
Even if you take a couple of power hits, it's fine. You need to be helping this. I know you wanted the ward, but like honestly, there's no time to do that. Uh, you just need to queue. The, you need to clear the wave and just get out of there. This is taking too long. So they chase you. If I was this Leona, I would be chasing you. If you were in the situation on the enemy team, if I was this Leona, I'd be chasing them out. Because if they if you manage to stop their recalls, it means you got a massive lane advantage. You're gonna probably get some decent damage to this tower as well if you're a Jinx as well. So yeah, if I was that Leona, I would have like face checked that bush and stuff and just been super aggressive. Items versus no items. With alts as well. Wait, I need to figure back went too fast. This is a good idea for a flank from you. Just you should go around this way. Cause like worst case scenario is, is right there dive fucks up and then they've got to flash back out of the lane. There's no way they're gonna end up over here. Though well, they shouldn't end up here anyway. So you wanna like come in through this way. And also you, your priority is Jinx, CCing the Jinx. Because once Leon has done everything, there's nothing else she can do. Like her stuff is instant Q, E, R. And after that, she's just standing there getting ready for, ready for her next Q to attack. Whereas obviously Jinx can keep pounding out damage. And also you can be in front of her as well to block Jinx ultimate as well. So you you really should be like coming around this way around. Also like if, um, if Leona like flashes out of tower range here, uh, you can still like hook in the Jinx and then she'll be the next one to, to get tower aggro as well. Jinx actually has tower aggro here. Yeah, like you could have, yeah. So Leona had to flash away there, but because she went the long way around, you just went there. That, I think that Leona should have died to be honest, actually. Yeah, just imagine if you came that way through. This should be a nice Q on Jinx here. Uh, I would ignite straight away here. Yeah. You want to ignite straight away so you can get ready for your ulti. Now, <coughs> she, she, Jinx would be in ult range right now if your ignite was on in the first place. Yeah, Jinx should be dead right there. You're lucky that Kaiser survived. Don't hold on to ignite like too much. Did you ignite Leona there as well? Like if you're going full on here with Viv Electric Keep proc, you need to count the hits in your head. It's three hits from auto attacks and all spells. Um Like you you're running away as well. Like you know they're they just use stuff under tower and traps has already been placed. You've you've got free rain on this jinx. Yeah, if your ignite was on jinx then beforehand when you did go in, then the jinx would be low enough now for ulti. You could then like flash ulti if she yeah. It'd be flash ult. Honestly, actually, what you could have done it even in this situation actually anyway is just flashed uh Flashed or even walked up here, uh, ulted her, ignited her, and just queued her with a tap, and you would have probably killed her. You could have killed her in two different ways there. Good flash, Stefan Kaiser. You ignited Leona as well, I guess it was just a panic. But if you're going to play Pike, you do need to be a lot more aggressive. Waiting to make making good plays. Okay, so you need to work here with your Zin. Yeah, okay, the first thing you can think of is... Right, okay, so so if you see Zin at this point here, any jungler, you know how, how low your AD carry is. The only thing he's going to want to do, even if, if he sees his Shyvana, he has no exit, right? So his only plan he can do is just go straight onto the AD carry. If I were you, I would probably charge up my Q here, rather than dash in because it's got high risk here. I would charge up my Q. If you had your Q ready, I don't know if she would have survived, but it would have meant that the Zin would be definitely de dead under tower. Is he going to actually get away? You've got Flash and ulti. He's actually going back in. The Zin's dead. Oh, oh. 
out. I'm surprised that wasn't enough for a kill, actually. But I guess it wasn't execute range. That surprises me. But he would have had a lot more tower shots down here if he hit a Q over here. Yeah. That surprises me that that wasn't enough damage, though. What did you buy? Maybe Boots is fine. What's the Regi bead for upgrade for Targons, I guess? Okay. He didn't die, he got really confused. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Maybe his health pot ticked him over, maybe? Yeah, a couple of mistakes there. Spending a lot of time buying. Right, at this point, okay, so if you've already lost your bot tower, you know, your next plan is, is and if Kaiser's falling behind like this, and if she DC's, your next best thing to do is, um, is to roam. You need to be looking at the scores on the map. Your Camille is two, uh, zero 2 so she's behind. And Duvegalo is 2-3, so he's got like, the best chance of doing something here. And with Cage, it should be fairly easy. Because if you, if he puts down a Cage on someone, um, they're gonna stand somewhere in the middle and then you just E dash over the cave, uh, the cage and they get stunned. So either way they get stunned. And it's easy setup then for Vega. So now you want to be playing around the Vega. I want to see you like putting control wards down. You didn't buy a control ward at any point there. That's a must. You need to buy at least buy one control ward, especially because on pike because you're roaming around anyway. But I want to see, yeah, this is a good, your intentions are right here. Control ward here would have been nice. I personally would have probably put control ward here or here when making the move in here. You're going to want the W in here. You haven't got your ulti here. I think you lose this fight actually. Vega has it all. This could be a good. Oh, Vega uses ult way too early. But he died really, really fast. So yeah. You might die for that, actually. Perk. It's a shame it wasn't Talon. Zim blocked it. You can chase this. Put your ult back up soon. Just keep chasing because your ult's up. If okay, one thing is because your Q gets slowed down really uh, like a lot. If you get caught in that situation where your hooks out. Your Q's out, but they, they're getting away. Just throw it really quickly and just keep running. Because your movement speed just gets put down way too much. Um, I mean, you know the 2 low HP. Plus you've got two four ones here. Technically, this is a 3v4. At this point, I'd be checking TPs. You don't have TP up. Um, but there's a good chance you could win some of these fights just because of your ulti. Talon might just run away, so it might just be a 3v3. I would close in here, to be honest. Yeah, this isn't, this shouldn't this isn't, should have been like targeted here. That E dash is fine. Just let go of the Q straight away. You're just getting slowed too much. And just keep following up. Definitely keep chasing here. It's a shame. I would still be trying to look it for a sneak play here. If pinging my Kaiser in. Oh, is she actually DCing? No. It's a shame because Kaiser ideally should be moving out for this as well. You got your ult ready. Try and do, I don't know if you did it there, but try and do uh, ping click on targets that you're about to go into like that. that to, uh, if you see someone called out that you think might be able to die really quickly, try and ping target. I think Shavana, I think you would have died there still, but I think Zin would have died there with Shavana's help. But then Shai might have died anyway. Hmm. I see, I see you're doing the uh, classical uh, spam question mark ping there, so I'm not sure what happened there. Try not to um, spam ping, question mark ping people, it just tilts them for no reason. One second. It was very tilted. I mean, it's a shame because... You could have done a lot of things yourself in lane. 
I mean, to be honest, like, there's been nothing really dramatic of what your team's done wrong this game. Kaiser not respecting level 2 was her fault, but she didn't die from it. But, um... I don't think your teammates have done anything particularly bad. I don't know what it was like in chat or anything, but... Honestly, the teammates don't seem that bad. It's just... Well, I don't know what's happened topside, right? Like, topside looks like it's been our suit fiesta. Um... But your, your Kaiser hasn't been that bad. Chivana's been around, like, in places, at least, anyway. It's more than what I'd expect at Silver 5, to be honest, or Silver 4. Anyway, let's not watch them. Where's Pike? There he is. But yeah, you got to be thinking, like, what's your best opportunity to carry this game? Okay, so you guys have lost early, like really, really badly. So you're three fourteen. The only way you're gonna get moved forward now is if Vega can hold off and stall for mid game and then get fed into late game. Kaiser should be able to carry like mid late game, but it's gonna be really difficult, right? So Wukong's gonna like one shot a lot of people, so I you're gonna have to work around that. But they are a full AD team, so you can maybe play around that slightly. Vega could get a uh, Sonya's and Shivana should be able to tank off some of that damage if she goes slightly. Some sort of armor build, but she kind of looks like she is. Um, you might want to consider going Zeke's later on in the game. Like mid-game, maybe, against this. But, yeah. Go in. Nice. Nice engage. Get ready to ult. Okay, um... Let me watch that back. I want to see what your Fog of War was like. Because you should have seen, had inklings of where Pike was stealth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let me just watch that. Really good engage. That's like perfect engage there. You had Ignite as well. I definitely would have whacked Ignite on there. You can still see him there. Yeah, you can see him there. So you need to ult like here, like straight away and go for it. You just gotta go go for it. You remember, I don't know if you saw that the game when I was Pike went against the Shaco. I just had a split second of like, like 0.25 seconds of the shadow of where he is in visibility and just blind altered there so he couldn't get away. It's the same here of the talent stuff. You just need to just try and ult and just guess. If you miss them, whatever, but he's going to get away from here anyway. And your, key, your team desperately needs kills. So your bounty gold will help out a lot here as well. So yeah, you probably would have hit if you guessed around that. There's probably like 80% chance. You'd have to do it like really, really fucking quick though. At this point, it's too much. You guys have used a lot. Yeah, you guys just chase us. Honey, you still got your ult ready for this? Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Um, it's a shame you wasted mana on W there. Um, let me just watch that bit again. Good ult. Tag Leona slightly there as well. Auto hit. You keep that running away. Don't forget, it's just it's just Leona. You got enough HP. You should know the damage ranges. You should be actually on her face right now. I'm trying to auto hit her a bit here. You didn't need to W A. Um. Good Q hit. Shavana missed the fiery bollocks or whatever. At this point, as soon as you see the Tanya, obviously you need to try and run away. Um, your E is not up yet. That's a shame. It's sick because what I would do here, what I would do here, your ult's still up, right? <sighs> I don't know if you could do this in lower ELO and get away with it, but I would spam ping to get ready to go in on, on the talent here. I would have had W up. I would have used my W here. He, it would have healed you up pretty quick. Your E's about to be ready. Go straight onto Talon. 
Have you got Ignite up? No. Press your Q cooldown. Replay suck for this because you can't see the cooldown. Your Q cooldown is 10 seconds. <sighs> It would have been close. I think I might have greeted for this. Just trying to work out the damage ranges. Yeah, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do this what I just said. As in I wouldn't advise you to do this, but I think I would like uh W here try and re-engage on the Talon uh with an E stun and work with the Shavana with spam pings down. Because if you look at the Leona's mana, the mat the Leona's mana is really, really low. You uh Muggle uh the the Pike has enough mana. So Leona literally can't do anything here, not even a stun. So she's just standing there, and the worst thing she could do is auto attacks. Um I would try and probably do a greed play on the on the Talon there. If I had my W there. Yeah, it's just a shame you can have your W there. And this is why you play Grey Screen Simulator? Yeah. Nice re-engage there. They overextended like crazy. Worked out in the end. You got a double kill in the end. <laughs> you need to go straight back though at this point. You haven't even got targets. How much money are you on now? You have 3.2k gold. You just go back. You do not... I don't know. Just just go back. Just go straight to tower and back. Every second here is just being wasted. You have no mana to do anything bot lane if that's what you're trying to do. You gotta let this tower go. You got no one here to defend with you. Looks like Kaiser's DC'd as well. Get out. You just get out of here. Recall. Recall, please recall. You're on 3.3k gold at 40 minutes in the game. There we go. What do you actually buy? Targons and wait, you didn't buy a control ward again. You've got four hundred gold. What? Buy two control wards at this point as well. How's your targons doing? You haven't completed your targons quest yet, so you would have to keep the uh, the normal wards up. You need to get control wards. You're waiting for Shavana to come. Just go back. You gotta just come to this tower and go back. Even if she takes this tower, just go back because you need to your. As Pike, you're needed around the map, like, urgently, especially in a game like this. If she takes tier 2, then whatever, it's too, it's too late. But, yeah, I mean, this this Kaiser DCing is a major problem. But right now, you just have to work with the Vega. You just need to work, go back really, really quickly, and then come back into lane with the Vega. That's your, that's your objective right now, is to get a Vega fed. He's doing a decent job right now by himself here. But he really needs you mid right now. Wouldn't have bothered staffing here, but mm, whatever, it's fine. I'm probably just going to focus on this game for about five more minutes. Kaiser's come back. Good Q peel off, that's fine. Nothing really to talk over. That's fine. It's just you need to get you need to focus on finishing off this crappy Targons quest. That's why you don't take Targons when you're roaming around. It takes forever to complete that quest as well. Alright, you you wanna E dash across here? No, you're playing too scared again. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to this. Where are you during this? Okay, you're running up. Okay, you seen Shavan has been caught? W in here is fine, then you E across straight away here. Oh, you actually got stunned. What? How did you get stunned? W and then E. Because they're going to dive in like crazy. Shavana's going to ult away. So you just want to E right, right now. Oh, well, you could channel in Q. I think that's what you were doing, wasn't it? I was trying... Yeah, you were channeling Q. No, no, no. Your priority here is just double stun. Uh, to double stun them with E. I don't think that was Leona. 
Was it? No, it was, uh, let me try and work it out again. I can't work out what's going on with the graphics. Even if the Leona ult's coming through, you should have been able to E dash through that. The initial dash would be double stun. E there. It would be fine. Nah, she didn't he didn't get she didn't get stunned by the Dreamland didn't get stunned by the ulti. Um but no, that should be double stun there on both the Talon and the um Leona. Easy Vega setup and then you can do your Q. Trying to pull Talon under turret? No, no, no. You don't want to even do that because um, Talon will just decimate your Vega. And Shyvana's really low HP as well. You're... If someone gets caught like that, your objective is to just drift, peel them off straight away. Uh, your stun's your best for that, for the multiple targets. If it was just one, then maybe I could see you using Q. But because there's definitely more than one, you need to use your E. You need to take both of them off. You need to stop the Leona stuns coming through. And worst case scenario is if you E dash like here and you're by yourself, then you just ult back in. So you're back with your team. And that should be enough to make sure that you will survive this. This is a really nice Vega cage. It's a double stun on the Talon there. It should be a double kill, really. Vega wasted its ignite there. Can in the end it perked out fine, but I would advise you to E dash through here. Imperator, do you want me to do a game review for you? <laughs> okay, let me rewatch this bit again. It's a shame you've got no control still. You've got very little map control here. Also, yeah, Targon's... you got your Targon's quest finished now. I hate Targon so much. Okay, right now, you, you guys are way too low HP. You can see Zin coming through here. Your objective here is now to, to peel off. Um, Really good anticipation there from Talon. That's really nice. Your Vega's dead. There's nothing you can do about this. You just leave him at this point. Um, don't even consider going in here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, you're lucky. But yeah, you... um, Because your, your most fed player is Vega, if you look at the kills. If your Vega's dead, there's nothing your team can do. You're just constantly playing around with Vega. Vega and you just need to be working like together as a as a two man team. You just gotta do your best to make sure he survives. Mm, you I don't like that. You didn't buy a control uh, Oracle either here. So. How much money are you on? 53. So you couldn't buy more than one control wood anyway. <sighs> like, you've got objectives coming up. What Drake is spawning? Infernal Drake is spawning in one minute. It's vital that you have a control ward for that. Um, Herald is, the, is another really big objective as well. Ideally, you'll have two control wards for both objectives. Unfortunately, that's uh, it's not there. You would just have Oracle, and then Oracle will be ready soon, and then you just clear out your in jungle with that and save the control ward for the objectives. Um, you need to be just. You just need to like get ready for your Vega to be spawning, basically. Looks like you're talking to your team. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't talk to your team. <laughs> um, you need to be with your Vega. So this is what your mistake here again is. Your most fed player, you need to be with him. Especially with a high CC champion that you're playing. Because people are going to make mistakes, shitty mistakes like this all the time. Your win condition right now is Vega. And later in the game, it might be Kaiser as well. Camille can pop off later in the game as well. You're going to lose all your carries in one fell sweep here, I think. Yeah. 
don't think they can do too much of that bot tower. It's going to go down. Just a little bit too much. Ups, up, um, oh, God. Okay, right. You've already used your dash, right? You've got Ignite here. Just, you want to go onto the, the Jinx. Don't get caught in by the Leona here. Good job, good job, good job. No! You don't want to hook in the Jinx here. You need to kill the Jinx as quickly as possible. Your priority is always to AD carry in this situation. I can just ignore the Leona. She's not doing anything. I thought you were actually going to... You walked past the Leona to get a clear shot onto the Jinx, but you didn't go to her. You went for Leona instead. Like, everything up to that point was really, really nice. I thought you were going to go... What for? Wow, you skipped that. Like, you didn't even going to go for the Leona. You just moved the good. But you didn't. I think Shavanna's in trouble now, actually. Okay. Messy way, but that would have been the absolute perfecto way to do it. Hey, you got your ult up again? You should be able to kill here. Unlucky that you didn't get your ulti off. Close. But in this situation, you just need to make sure, like... What's my win condition? Like, at 10 minutes in the game, what's my win condition? 15 minutes again, is that still my win condition? Yes, no. Then, like, just keep asking yourself that question every few minutes. Because Vega is still your win condition. Like, late game, he's going to carry, right? In theory. As long as you provide enough peel for him. These guys are mental. Just, you Obviously, this isn't your fault at all. This is really bad by your team. Um, who actually got the Drake? They did. Yeah. At least Talon died. That's something. Um, I personally wouldn't even defend this. Uh, Wukong is 8-2. If he actually wanted to, he could just use everything on you and kill you. If he had, if, if he had everything. Or he's already killed Camille with everything. It wouldn't be even worth the risk. Just let him take the tier 2 and just focus on staying around with your Kaiser at this point. Tier 2 is going down anyway. You lost the tower anyway at the top anyway, yeah. Just stay with your Kaiser at this point. Even if you think she's doing shit. At this point now, you should have definitely bought your Oracles. And Control Wads. How much money are you on? You're on 1.2k. I want to see you get, like, your Control Wad and maybe a Warhammer. Good escape there. That's really nice. That's one of the cool things you can do with Pike there. If you get caught, you can just double stun. Okay, you're too scared now. You're, you're being too scared again. Um, it's a shame this wasn't a... If you had got caught like this on the double uh, dash in, you would put up a control ward here as well. Just have dominance of... Um, of your of the bush of vision, if that makes sense. So if they had put a ward in there themselves, the only way they could actually see you still is if you, they walked into it. So that would be a perfect time to put a control ward down. So dash there, then pop a control ward down. Yeah, because look, they put their own control ward in that brush as well. Um, So, like, that would have been perfect there as well. So you used your E, you dashed away, you survived, that's great. But, at this point here, you can see the cages down. You need to charge up your Q here at this point. Just go for it. Even if you die, it's worth it. Could have queued the Leona back in a little bit here. Um, it's good that you're looking to you looked straight to go back into the fight for this way though at least. Um, definitely feel like you could have queued the Leona back in. In this sort of play here, I'd be worried about Zin. So your main priority here is making sure Zin's CC'd as much as possible. Plus you've got your ulti. So yeah, as soon as you like, I would do here. What I would do here is queue across. I don't know if you know if the Zin's in that bush or not, but uh, you'd put a ward in this brush anyway because there's a fight going on. So you'd like uh, ward, E dash, um, tap Q, and I'll. Q. Oh, yeah, they died really quickly there anyway. Alright. Right, now you need to be like recalling or putting. Uh... What I would do actually myself is I would stand here, pop a ward over here, go straight back to recall. If you see your main carry recalling, you just got to recall with them. You're basically his bitch right now. 
You're not going to be able to chase a talent like that unless you get the exact drop on him and then cue him as he's jumping over a wall. How much money are you on? You're on 1.8k gold. Yeah, you got to stop doing this. You're, um, you're having too much gold in your pocket and you're not actually using it at all. So even though you've got 1.8k gold in your pocket right now, you're not able to use it at all. So what actually happened is, so Vega recalls, he went back to buy and he went straight up there by yourself. You didn't get to go back to recall, you chose not to. So you got gold deficit. Um, it's good that you're kind of here with your Vega now though. Yeah, you got caught, cool. it's his mistake. It's nothing you can do, just leave it. Um, you really, really, really need oracles and a control at this point. They've got wards all over your jungle. Let's just look, let's just take a look at their vision. I mean, this is part. This is like partially to you not having oracles and control wards. Um, like, you would have had oracles to like clean out like some of this. So at least two of these wards should have been down. They've got five wards, six wards in your jungle. Plus a pora. <laughs> that's pretty insane. You've got no map control here whatsoever, and that's down. That's partially down to you. Your teammates are obviously not buying control wards, which sucks. Um, there's obviously nothing you can do about that unless you tell them, but you need to be making sure you buy, have that Oracle lens. Um. You got it now, and you got one controlled. I want to see you have more than that if possible. You can afford it. Okay. Let's go back again. Um, Vega's about to respawn. And yeah, you just need to send the map. You guys just got jumped. So I would go to the rescue here as well. That'd be straight away. You got flash? No. You should have W sooner. Like back here. You would have already been there by now. E dash straight away. Perfect. She's going to die though. But whatever. Get ready to Q charge because he's going to come out of that stuff and you don't know where he is. He's going to go for the wall, yeah. Yeah, at that point as well, you can use oracles as well to give you a glimpse of where he might be as well. See, that was also an option there as well. Is he not an execute range? Nice. What have you got left in cooldown? Good flick over there. I like that. Your mechanics on him are pretty decent. It's just something your decision making is a bit weak. Your mechanics are decent. Most of the time, you haven't made too many like major mistakes. It's just been like when to go in, when to use the couple of abilities. Obviously, oracles and control wars is definitely something that you need to focus on. It's good that you've you said that you've already swapped the coin instead of targets. But yeah, all of this is going on while you're, you're getting kills though, but this isn't your fault. Like, ideally, you should have your teammates. The other te teammates on your team should be focused on this. Like, where's Vega? Yeah, you guys are going to use the tier 3 and in here for this, for split push. Good play by them. You need to fight here though. Good incentive, but you're doing it by yourself. You had time to wait for your team. You're gonna... You won't die. That might be enough to get the Zin in. Yeah, just wait. You've got to hold on the trigger. Just wait in Fountain with your home guards. I mean, Kaiser... Everyone's really slow to react to this, actually. This is actually not your fault. What the hell are they doing? They recall and don't even move? Kaiser's there for ages. Camille should be zooming in as well. That's not your fault, actually. I would have expected my teammates to go in there as well. They haven't even moved at this point. What are they doing? Holy crap. Kaiser's not even... What? Oh my god. That sucked playing with that.
Anyway, once again, you need to focus on your wind condition. It's Vega at this point. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck is Vega farming red as well? Everyone's just going weird Fiesta style now. No one's watching the map. Um, your best bet is just to get in here as quickly as possible. Um, you're gonna have to go in because it's probably just the two of them. You have to go full in here. Good job going in. Focus the sin. You missed your key there. Alt. If you not got alt, you haven't got alt. Fuck. Okay. It works out okay. Just stay with your Vega as much as possible though. Kaiser's obviously unreliable as hell. Vega is like by far your strongest player. He's got death cap now. With an no, he didn't get the Inferno. Wait, how much money? Wait, 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 wait. How much money are you on? 530. You've got no control once again. You gotta stop doing that. You need to be using your Mumus. Your Mumus to speed in here. You can do it while channeling stuff as well. Okay, that's an acceptable pull. No, 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 no. Right, you're pulling in here. You know that the enemy team are roughly around here, I would imagine, right? Let me just check the revision the entire time. Okay, let me go back. What do you know? What information do you know? Like they could be doing Baron, so you're not sure. You know Leon is around that. So you know they're around the river, right? They're probably around the river, maybe doing Baron. Maybe not, because Jinx is here. You just gotta like you don't need to use everything to kill the Leon here. Leon is not the it's great that she's out of position and that she might die, but you gotta be aware that they're about to collapse on you like crazy at this point. They're not just going to let you engage in their support and AD carry when you know they're roughly around here. So they're either doing Baron and they're going to get it anyway at this point because it's been way too long for you guys to face check here anyway. Or they're going to come and collapse. There's the only two options that's going to happen right now. Especially, you're like, you can't, there's no one on split pushing. So you need to save your spells here. Yeah, your E, not e in the support is not good. You actually ended up yourself in no man's land here. You just want to do your best to protect the Vega as much as possible. Fuck. Yeah, if you had your E here. It would have been a lot nicer and a lot closer. You're having to run away now. You've got no one left. Don't go back in. I mean, you got your ulti, I guess, if, unless someone's low enough. Q tap. Q tap. You missed your ulti, I think. Uh, no, you did it. Can you E dash out there now? No, you're stunned. You're dead now. I probably would have kind of done the same thing there. I think I would have ended up dead there as well. Even if you stay alive at this point, there's nothing to stay alive for, if that makes sense. It's that game. Yeah. It's basically game. Well, hopefully that helped you, Dreamland. Um, there wasn't too much, like, mid-game stuff going on there. But yeah, like, the, the main thing, it, it seems to be, like, a common theme around, like, bronze, silver, low gold as well as, like... Well, to be honest, no matter what ELO you should be in, you should be always asking yourself what's your win condition. Especially if you're AD carry, it just sucks dick. Uh, <laughs> to be frank, like, uh, you you need to find out who else in your game can carry or at least get it to that mid-game stage. The only person on your team that could do that is, is Vega. So make sure you're trying to stay around the person. If it was a top laner, then you'd stay around more around the top laner and make plays with them. Especially with someone with the roaming and the CC as Pike. 
Uh, if you were playing like an enchanter, like Nami or whatever, honestly, you'd be a lot more screwed. But you need to get better vision, much better vision control. Vision control there was like non-existent. Um, what item did you decide to go for first there? You can carry on. Um, oh, that's trolling. Um, you went Yomumu's first. I actually just realized that you want to go Duskar Blade first. It would have helped a lot of the map control as well because you can just one shot the uh, the wards there as well of Oracles. So I'll get Coin. I wouldn't finish completing Coin. I'll go towards Duskar. That would have given you a lot more map control as well. Um, and yeah, don't use all your CC on someone like Leona. Once she's done, basically on any champion like that, usually like with Alistair and or Leona, like you don't want to like use everything on them and then have absolutely nothing left, you know what I mean, to help out your team with. Because uh, it's like your E isn't going to like, if, if Leona gets away, then sure it sucks, but like that's not your main concern. It's the rest of the team. The three assassins that they've got on their team you can cc them with the vega they die just instantly with vega's ap that he's got there also like vega's build pretty greedy he should have built a zonia's instead of a spellbinder as well so there's definitely things your team were doing wrong top lane went to shit uh you could have got a kill on jinx you could have probably done more on the level two level one, level two situation, especially like getting extra damage there with the electrocute. Looks like you weren't really like utilizing electrocute much there um, or aware of it. Because uh, if you're not going to use electrocute, you might as well just go like aftershock because that's what electrocute's for. You got to make sure you get those three hits off as much as you can whenever electrocutes are cooled down for the most amount of damage. The, um... So yeah. Those are like the major flaws. Just make sure you identify who to focus in fights, so small or large. You need to focus on map control with wards a lot better. Um, yeah, those are like the two major target, the two major things. Identify who you want to fight, map control, and yeah, identify what the win condition is going to be in progressing into mid game. Also, just as a side note, please don't spam ping teammates and stuff. Try and resist doing that. I know it's like makes you feel a little bit better by doing it sometimes, especially when you're frustrated. It just doesn't help the situation at all. You're just adding, you're adding fuel to the fire. Spam question mark pinging your teammates just going to trigger them even more. Or even like just typing stuff in chat saying, why did you do this? It's like, just it's not worth it. You just want to put them on mute or whatever, like as if they're chat but chatting at you or talking to you like that. Try and keep communication to a minimum and try and keep them to pings, um, especially pings that are like target engage or warning pings, because um, then it's just map, mini map clutter as well. And also, if you keep trolling with question mark pings and stuff like that, your teammate will just not listen to you, and they might even mute your pings as well, which then puts you in an even worse situation there as well. So. Yeah. Chavana is extremely toxic, so mute her. If she's spamming pings, then just put ping mute her. Just move on. There's no point getting worked up over it. It's just another dickhead, right? There's no point chat backing. Like they get some of these people get off as well on getting a natural like reaction from you. So in the end, Chavana won it over you because she bit she got she pushed you over the edge, like you just said. So it's just not worth it. Honestly, it takes a while. I don't know how long you've been playing League for, but um, sure. I was probably a bit of a penis to people being like that. I probably had the same sort of reaction to you as well back in the day, but um, don't me a season or two to realize it's just, you know, the best way to win games is just not even like, just just, just leave them to it. They can just report them at the end of the game if they get chat banned and great kind of thing. No problem, Dreamland. Hopefully some of those things helped. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, type 1 in chat if you enjoyed that. <laughs> Definitely going to say that every single time. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'll do another game review tomorrow. Let's dumb my throat in a little bit. And if you do enjoy that sort of stuff, I do that from for as, as often for my subs as possible so um basically there's a channel on discord people put their stuff in there and um yeah 
Okay, G Man. I want to follow up again in, in a couple of weeks and see how you do. Keep me updated and, on your situation. I expect you all uh, after my coaching sessions to hit Diamond 5 after a week. And if not, I failed you. <laughs>